talking with Nandini Krishnamurthy from DuPont Pioneer. Nandini, can you explain what CRISPR is? Yes. So CRISPR-Cas is the latest technology that we are looking at for um, advanced breeding. It is a very precise and targeted technology where you can use it for improving the efficiency of uh, the products that we are uh, bringing out into the market. And how does it work? So CRISPR-Cas, as you um, see, is a technology where it allows you to target a specific sequence within a plant and uh, you can modify that. It uses the genes within the crop to bring about variation that you can target and create the desired output that uh, you are looking for. You can take, say, disease resistance as an example. Let's say you have a, a very good uh, plant with high quality agronomics but is susceptible to a certain disease. So to be able to market that we have to make that plant disease resistant. So the way we would use CRISPR-Cas there is to identify a resistant gene from another variety and bring that gene into this, like a word uh, editor ad analogy would be search and replace, that susceptible gene with the resistant gene, and that would give you the resistant plant with good economic qualities as well. And how broadly is CRISPR applied to agriculture? So the technology can be applied across a wide variety of crops and it can also be applied for different areas um, like drought tolerance or yield, um, better nutrition, oil quality, disease resistance like I said earlier, etc. So it has very broad potential across in agriculture. And what products are in the market right now using CRISPR? So right now, uh, we are working with Waxy, which is our first uh, product project that we are working on. Um, it, we are in- Would you explain what Waxy corn is before yes, you- Yes, sure. So Waxy corn um, is a type of corn that has a, a different kind of starch content than your yellow dent corn. It is very high in amylopectin, and that is very useful for industrial processing. It usually goes through the wet milling process, and you can use waxy corn in multiple industrial uses and different consumer products. So this waxy corn, which we've been using for a long time, we know from the knowledge we have of 90 years of breeding in our company, is caused by a non-functional waxy uh, gene. So we are using the CRISPR technology now to be able to uh, directly target the elite inbreds that we have, which are very high yielding, to create this deletion in the waxy gene to see if you can take the very current elite inbreds into a waxy uh, corn and then use that as the waxy hybrids going forward. So currently we are in the stage of field testing and we, um, hope, our hope is that we would be able to commercialize this um, soon. Is there a year in mind? Um, it's, we are around 2020, I think, would be what, when we are thinking about uh, the commercialization. Thank you very much. Thank you.